What's up, YouTube? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Today's movie review is Shadows on the Wall. Came out in 2015. Let me take this off. grief. I'm a straight up psycho, bro. There, now I feel a little better. I don't know where that came from. It's like, it's another part of my being or soul or something. Whew. Anyway, yes, it is another movie review. I do have my handy dandy trusty notes. As you know, I'm not a professional. I'm not going to remember all this. I didn't remember anything in school. I don't remember anything now. So let's get on with it. Shadows on the Wall, 2015. Cast. And the names could possibly get butchered. Just like... You know what I'm saying? So here we go. Chris Kaufman as... Palmer Marshall, Tim Fox as Chase Marshall, Nicole Lee Durant as Alice Ross. Now, yeah, I think I did it. That's the main characters you're going to see throughout the movie. That's all we're going over. Story goes, three college students create a device that can see far beyond our known universe. What they find is something of unknown proportions. Unknown proportions. You ready? Because my thoughts, my opinions, let's do this. Here we go. This is another low budget movie I'm sure most have never heard of. I never heard of it. I just found it, man. I just found it. As I do all my movies. It starts out pretty much without really letting us know what's going on. Like, maybe they expect you to just know. Or so that's how my wife and I felt. Like, literally, you're just kind of starting out and this guy's doing stuff and it's just like you're supposed to know what's going on. That was the first problem with the movie. After you finally figure things out, the movie seems to go along with more of a flow. And you start to make sense of what's going on. So that's just one detail I didn't care for was how it kind of starts out and you're just kind of thrown in there. The actors do a fairly decent job. You have Palmer, who's a loner. Strange. Uh, he's into electronics. Science kind of guy. Seems smart enough, but good lord. He's so scared and whiny as a main character. Millennials. Scared and whiny. Find your safe room. Then you have Chase Palmer. No, I'm wrong. Chase, yes. Palmer's cousin. Who gets involved? He's somewhat of a financial backer to the project. Kind of a more of a party frat guy. Kind of a loud individual. You'll see if you watch the movie. And then we have Alice. She gets involved quickly. After getting to know Palmer. Alice is a math tutor helping Palmer. And uh, of course the conversation starts and things get interesting and there you go and she's involved now. She starts out unsure, but quickly becomes as involved as Palmer. Most of the movie takes place in an abandoned warehouse where they set up their whole electrical scientific project. I found myself catching a few mistakes in the actions and the story and that, but it didn't take me out of the out of the moment. 
you know, how somebody can do this and it makes no sense. It's like, well, you know, some movies do stuff like it. It just don't make sense. It's just, eh. Okay, anyway, sorry. The movie uses real low end CGI in some moments, but it's okay. This is a low budget movie. It's not Disney. How they executed it was good and well done for what it was. Honestly, there's only a couple of times towards the end that it's even used. Like when you see this and then when you see that and then that's all you see is this and that. That's all they really use it for. You'll know what I mean. The this and the that. This movie is more story based and tries to create chaos and uh, the way it's shot. Uh, there is some shaky camera here and there. Some weird stuff. Uh, overall, I think they did a decent job. Honestly, I was so curious, I had to keep watching. Um, which is... You may not. You may start it and be like, what the... And then turn it off. But I don't know. I had to keep watching. As did my wife. Which is very strange. See, I don't mind little weird low budget stuff and whatever, but even she was just like glued, just like, man, what's going on? Like, what's going on? That's what she was like after she had her spittention. What's going on in here, man? And I was like, man, I don't know. I think that's kind of how it went. Anyway, let's get on. If you can ignore some of Palmer's freak out moments and a couple of that wouldn't really work or happen moments I say give this movie a look see for what it is low budget and for the story uh, and interest it created for me I'm gonna give this movie a solid and it's crazy I mean you know you look at we can't compare it to these high budget movies that we give this out of this and that out of that. You gotta go and put it on a different playing field when it's these real low budget movies like this. So don't take it as like, oh my god, it's up there with E.T. No. I'm gonna have to give this movie a 3 out of 5 just because it kept my interest. And like I said, it even kept my wife's interest. So, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope that you watch the movie and comment and tell me what you think about it. I'm sure it's not for everyone, but then again, maybe it is. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Guys, please subscribe, like, comment, share. All that good stuff. All of it. Okay? I do all this for free. No monetization. No ads that I'm aware of. No, nothing. I do it out of my love for you. Okay, it's for the love. And I enjoy it. I just enjoy doing these things. And I'm not a great movie reviewer, but it's fun. It is what it is. Everyone, please remember that you can get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. Even when doing a movie review. Now go watch that movie! Crazy kids!